guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for the pan and everything collab that i'm doing we are going to hit pan on everything in our collection that we can hit pan on so i'm doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies and they are linked down below we are doing it on youtube and instagram so if you want to follow some amazing ladies you should definitely check their links out out down below i have some exciting pro exciting progress i'm too excited that i can't talk i'm sorry <laughs> I'm really excited for this update because I am going to roll out two products and I will just explain why in a minute because there are two different reasons for two fit for both of them. Okay, the first one is really exciting and I did talk about this last time that I thought I could hit pan by this update and I did. I actually did it the same week that I uploaded the video. This is the Essence Mosaic Blush in Mliss Floral Call. Look at it. I even have double pan. <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited for this. So yes, this is going to be rolled out. Some might think it is a little bit early but I'm ready to use something else and work on the two blushes that I already have in oh, the product pants. Oh it, it landed like this. Open. Yeah, I'm going to roll this out and add something else in and it's not going to be a blush. It's not. <laughs> the other one that I'm going to roll out is my eyeshadow from the Paulina palette. And if you saw my Panda palette update for this month, in the beginning of the month and uh, my whole collection for Japan you know that I did a Franken a green Franken shadow and I used some for these two shadows um, and some other things but I did dug out so I hit pen on these and I just thought it is stupid to have this in the project and just updating on this and not showing the franken shadow so i'm just going to roll it out and have something else in because i'm i'm ready to move on because when i update the whole collection for japan in a bit when this goes up it has it's like in a week or something and um, we are going to refresh and i'm going to roll that shadow out of the project anyway so i didn't I, just, I don't want to have this just laying around until the Frank shadow is done because that is going to take me a while. So, yeah, I don't find it cheating, but it's not official pan yet, but I don't want to just... I haven't finished the Frank shadow yet. So, rolling something else in. Okay, then we have these two products that I haven't hit pan on yet. First one is my W7 Glow Motion Pink It Up Shimmer Highlighter Sh Eyeshadow. It's just a highlighter. Um... This is the one and obviously I don't have pan on as I said but I do have a dip. Um, so I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Is that shadow? I think there is one there. I don't have pan yet but I am working on it and I'm wearing it almost every single day. Um, especially when I am working on the pinky and the purple eyeshadow. I have in my projects um, today I didn't use it because I wanted to do something else just because just because I want to um, but yes otherwise I am using it every single day then we have the W7 flawless face to pressed powder this one right here and this is a color correcting powder so it has some different beads in it as you can see they are very um, raised I should say they are very visible can you say that? Yeah, you can you can see what I mean, right? I'm I think I'm going to hit pan on this side here first because if you see the pan is the side pan is uh, bigger here than it is on the other side. You see? Um it's lower over there. So I think that is where I'm going to pan, but I'm just swirling my brush around so I don't do anything to concentrate on that side of the product. Is it color correcting? I don't know. I am using it every single day. You know, the five days a week I count as every single day. So I do like it, I do. But I don't know if it is color correcting because the, the color correcting bits in the powder is not going down. So I don't know. Okay. 
the two products that I'm adding in is two eyeshadows and don't come don't come for me okay um I do know I have a lot going on but because I'm rolling out an eyeshadow I want to add one in and I'm going to add one in for my W7 Major Matte Palette and I have this in my um, Single Ladies and My My Matte Project Pen. I don't usually double dip my products so they are in uh, more than one project pen but I just thought it was a good way to focus on a shadow. Um, and my focus right now is the middle shade right here. A little bit cooler toned brown crease shade. And I actually have it in my crease today. And I have been doing that for the la past few weeks. But if you follow my that project at least, you know it took me a very long time to hit pan on these two shadows down here. So I see myself be working on this for a few months at least. Um, but again... If I just focus on that shade in my crease, I can, I can, hopefully I can hit pan or buy it by next update. Let's see. And yes, it is windy and my window is open because uh, I'm hot. I'm pregnant, you know? Um, so yes, that is my new product for this project. <laughs> I want to work on something that I already have out. And that is the same case with this Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I just rolled... Um, Crambole into a pretty pen, so I'm going to reach for this anyway. <sighs> I don't know if it is shooting myself in the foot, but I'm going to add in Solder Caramel. These are repressed shades, so there's not a lot of product in the pans, so I see it to be easy to hit pan on it. Um, but uh, yes, I do know I have two matte shadows in this, but if I want to go for something warm, I can pull this one out and the cool toned this one. So I'm panning both a pink, pinky purple and a green in my panda palette, so I thought these two green shades would be really nice. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out the other ladies, you should definitely do so. They are down below in the description box. They make amazing videos, and I am sure I have talked a lot about that in this project. We have been doing this for more than half a year now, and that is a really long time. I'm, I'm stunned that I have been doing it for so long, but... I will hope you guys enjoyed this small video and until my next one, please take care.